Thank you, um, Mr. President, and thank you for, uh, for hosting this very important summit between the European Union and, uh, and Egypt. Um, in the state of the world of today, it is crucial to have, uh, to have partners and to have partners who cooperate. Today's strategic partnership will make us stronger, and this partnership will deliver. It will deliver on more investment. It will de deliver on creation of more jobs. It will deliver on creating more cooperation between Egypt and the European Union, and it will deliver on stemming irregular migration. The strategic partnership is to the benefit of Egypt and of the European Union, especially in these times, times when we have a war on the European continent, when we have a horrendous conflict in Gaza, and when we see the impact, for example, on the trade going through the Red Sea. The reforms that are in this, uh, in this agreement will improve the investment climate. It will strengthen Egypt's economy. It will create business opportunities, which create more opportunities, especially for a young generation. In addition to that, a vibrant civic space, a vibrant democracy will add even more perspective to a young generation. Egypt plays an important role in fighting human trafficking and in fighting the smugglers' network. The EU will assist Egypt in coping with this challenge and working together to fight the root causes of irregular migration. As being said, this meeting was also a meeting where we talked extensively on the situation in Gaza. Egypt uh, has been a partner and, and will continue to be a partner in trying to establish an immediate ceasefire and an immediate release of the hostages. The current situation in Gaza is unacceptable. Too many civilian lives have been lost. There has been an ICG provisional ruling. That provisional ruling has demanded on Israel to increase the access for humanitarian aid. What we have seen in practice is the opposite. The access for humanitarian aid has decreased. It is the responsibility to make sure that sufficient humanitarian access is provided. More food, more water, more medicines are urgently needed. And especially in this month of Ramadan, everyone hopes that a ceasefire would be coming in this holy month and it would come into effect. The population of Gaza deserves to, leave, to live in peace. Dear Mr. President, I would thank you for this, uh, for this partnership. Thank also my colleagues for an important moment in our Belgian presidency to come to this agreement between Egypt and the European thank Union. Thank you. Thank you. Adolf.